Hi guys, I am a natural hairstylist and colorist texture extension specialist and hairstylist educator located in New Orleans, Louisiana. Let's break this down a little bit. So let's talk about the whole Dawn dish soap fiasco. Stylists tell you guys not to use stuff, but they don't tell you why not to use stuff. So similar to lightener and relaxers, Dawn dish soap is something that should only be used as like break the glass in case of an emergency type situation. So I have mixed Dawn dish soap with clarifying shampoo for a few reasons. Sometimes you guys have everything under the sun in your hair from shea butter to a chopped salad to rice water wet residue to minus whatever y'all be doing at home jamaican black castle or all kinds of stuff and sometimes the clarifying shampoo just don't give that clean slate that i need in the salon so i do this but i know what i'm doing right i know how to effectively get you up and down the ph scale so let me show you something dawn dish show lives between 8.7 to 9.3 this is the um, pH scale. This is the pH for sodium hydroxide, a.k.a. relaxer. This lives between a 12 and a 13. Lightener, a.k.a. what y'all call bleach. We don't call it bleach. We call it lightener. Lives between an 8.5 to a 10.5. So that means Dawn dish soap lives on the same pH, in the same pH range as lightener lightener has is a little bit higher so just like you wouldn't lift your hair at home or use a relaxer at home you shouldn't use dawn dish soap at home leave it to the professionals gonna make some other points so healthy hair lives at a 4.5 to 5.5 low porosity hair is below that high porosity hair is above that as a professional who is well equipped in this mad chemist mind of mine, I have the ability to take you safely up and down this pH scale. For your visual viewing, you can see on here where baking soda lives, where uh, lightener lives, where sodium hydroxide lives. Healthy hair is 4.5 to a 5.5, right? So if we're bringing you all the way up to this alkaline range, we have to bring you back down. So using Dawn dish soap in your hair and not knowing how to get you back down this scale, because there are products that are pH balanced that fix your pH or at least bring you along the way. If you do not have this type of education, do not do it, right? And I know there are going to be some hairstylists that are going to come in and say, but there are clarifying shampoos for the... Do yes, there are clarifying shampoos. But sometimes, guys, the, the there are some things that you just need to get the job done a little bit more. Not only do you have to rebalance the pH, but we also have to make sure we're putting sufficient moisture back in your hair after such a harsh process, right? So remember what I said earlier? Relax. Look where relaxers live. Sodium hydroxide. It's all the way at the top, fam. And Dawn lives around the 8 point to 10 range. If you don't know how to get yourself back down this scale, don't do it. Here's something else for your viewing pleasure. So you guys often refer to porosity, which is literally one part of the equation when it comes to healthy hair. This is a visual representation of your hair cuticle at different stages, 4.5 to 5.5, optimal pH. Cuticle is sealed, hair is flip worthy, healthy, shiny, frizz free, and retains color. Seven is considered high, cuticle is raised, hair is at risk of breakage, dryness, frizzes. Just to give you guys a realistic idea of what happens when your pH is not balanced, which honestly is a lot of y'all. Um, I had a student one time who no i'm sorry it wasn't a student it was my assistant she put a permanent color in the client's hair but she did not bring her ph back down when the client got home she went to sleep she woke up the next morning and her color was on the pillow i had her come back in told my assistant what to do how to balance off her ph voila problem solved so I'm saying all of this to say, guys, that if you don't know what you're doing, stay the hell away from Dawn Dish Soap.
And I also think it's wildly dangerous to not to post things like this and don't give context. Some things you can't give full context, but there's because there's too much to it. But just like any other industry, there are tricks to the trade that are not for the general public because you only get a small fraction of the equation and you don't get the whole thing. Now, what I do think is fair that if someone posts something like this, they should give you guys the science behind it. But if they don't, that's what I'm here for. Hope this helped. Drop a fire emoji if this was helpful. And if you want more tips like this, more videos like this, and make sure you hit the follow button. Hi, guys. I am...